Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be showing you and try to explain how does the hunger bar actually works. Because I have seen many people don't quite understand how this works. Well, to understand this first, we need to know about the different bars we have. We all know the life bar, right? The little hearts we have on the, on the bottom. And the hunger bar, which are the little bunch, mid bunches we have at the right bottom. But not many people understand what is the saturation bar or the exhaustion bar. Well, the saturation bar is a second bar which is invisible to us. We can imagine it as a second hunger bar, but invisible. And the exhaustion bar is a third bar that is also invisible, but is quite different. Well, how it works is that, for example, why sometimes when we eat a pork chop, a cooked pork chop, it will, we will have to do more things for our hunger bar to go down than if we eat a simple apple, right? Well, to understand that, we're going to be presented with this, okay? Every gold block is one exhaustion point. Every single sandstone lab, slab is called one point of the mid of the saturation bar. Okay, half of a mid bunch is equal to one slab, and in here we are going to have our hunger bar, right here. Okay, so every action have one any some sort of point in the exhaustion. For example, destroying blocks, jumping, sprinting, or walking. It will cause our exhaustion bar to go down. Well, every jump takes 0.2 exhaustion points. So it means to take out one point, we will need 20 jumps. Okay, let's imagine we do 20 jumps. If there are 20 jumps, one will be destroyed, right? Another 20 jumps, another one will be destroyed. Another 20, 20. When every four points of exhaustion have been removed, one little point of munch of saturation is going to be removed, right? And the exhaustion bar is going to be full again, four points. If we keep repeating this, it's going to go lower, 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 lower. and we keep decreasing, decreasing, and decreasing until we only have one point. At this point, it will replenish again, right? And when they are destroyed, it's going to get destroyed and one point in hunger will be destroyed or removed. And then the process will repeat, just that in this case, the exhaustion bar will be filled, but not the saturation one. So next time when we destroy four of these points or remove them by doing any action, it will directly go to the hunger bar. That's why when we eat something such as the pork chop, it will take more time because there will be more points in the saturation for it to replenish. Okay? Now, every different food have different points in saturation points. FP means food points, food from the hunger bar, and SP means saturation points, saturation bar. Okay? The raw food we get from nature, such as a melon, carrot, apple, or potato, have low points okay and here we have we see the total at the bottom 3.2 8.8 6.4 and 1.6 we can know we can now see that carrots have the highest point of all of the raw food right but in here we have a list of all the processed or cooked ones including also some raw ones that we have to get through animals one of the best is the steak which grant us 8, 12.8, which is equal to 20.8 total, which is the max with the cooked pork, pork, pork chop, sorry. Okay, so when we eat a pork chop, we will replenish 12.8, 12.8, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the 12 points from the saturation bar. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.8. Let's round it to 5. Okay? And you will have to do more actions to remove all of them. But if we eat just an apple, we only have get 1, 2, and let's say it's 2.5. Like, it was going to take us, if we know that every 20 jumps it takes 1, it would take us 60 jumps to take out full apple, and but it would take a lot to take the full pot chop. So now we know which food are the best to eat, the cooked pot chop and the steak. Other good options are the cooked potatoes, cooked chicken, um, the fish is a little bit good, 11 points, also the bread, 11 points, the pumpkin pie, 12.8, and the cake is 2.4 per slice, per slice, times 6 equals to about 14.4 if I'm not mistaken, which also I think it's the third best ones of all of the other options. And these two foods over here, they're special because they have always a grade of poisonous, poisoning you, including also the raw chicken. Raw chicken. Yep. So, well, now we all know how saturation points work. I hope you have learned something. And if you still don't understand this video, this tutorial, or simply have another question, feel free to ask, comment, or PM me, and I will gladly help you.